Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft Mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17 and I'm going to show you how to download and install and then play with Minecraft Mods for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17. At the moment we don't have Forge and we don't have Optifine but we do have Fabric which works with Minecraft Java Edition 1.17 and it's really cool because we can actually go ahead and download it as of today. So I'm going to show you a few of the mods that I've got installed. And as you can see on the system right now, I do have a, a mod installed, which is called Better F3. And then I'm going to show you how to download all of these mods and then install them for your game version 1.17. Okay, so if I go and click on Escape and then click on this mods button here, you can see that I've got Better F3, Falling Tree mod, mod menu which is another mod add-on for fabric which lists all of these mods so what i'm actually showing you right now is part of the mod menu and then i've also got roughly enough items and i've also got one of my favorite mods which is a zeros minimap so let's just go back and as you can see if i press e i've got the roughly enough items mod here and i've also got the falling tree mod so let me just change my game mode to survival and all I have to do is go up to a tree with the axe and just chop it down. It chops down the whole tree and gives me all of the wood for that. It's a really cool mod. There we go. It's that easy. And if you look at my top left there, I do have Zero's minimap installed as well. As you can see there. Which is another really cool mod. If I press the Y key, I can go into the options for Zero's minimap. I can change it from square to a circle as well. And I can also set waypoints by pressing the B button on my keyboard. And if I press Y, click on waypoints, I've actually set one here so I can actually teleport them to that waypoint as well. As you can see. So yeah, this is another one of my favourite mods that I do like to install. Previously I was using this with Forge but right now I am using the Fabric version of this which is really cool. And obviously as I mentioned before I've got the Better F3 mod as well so as you can see when I press F3 on my keyboard I get all this information here. So normally that would be in white text but, but this is laid out much more easier to read. It looks quite nice as well. I'm going to quit to the main menu just to show you the version I'm running. So as you can see at the bottom left here, it does say Minecraft version 1.17. And I am using the fabric add-on for it. I've got this mods button here, which I can click into. And then it will show me all the mods I've got installed as well. You can configure the mods as well in this section. So if I clicked on roughly enough items, I can click on this configure icon here and then I can mess around with the settings as well so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to show you how to download all of these mods and be able to set them up in your Minecraft game version 1.17 using fabric and all the steps that you have to take to get them set up and as I mentioned earlier right now Forge is not available for version 1.17 so if you are looking to install mods on your Minecraft version 1.17 this is the best method to do right now all right, so the first thing you'll have to do is if you open up your internet browser and you start typing in java.com, we're going to download Java because this is important because it's going to allow us to install Fabric and all of the different add-ons going forward. And it's going to make your life much more easier and make it easy to download and install mods and add-ons for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. So if we just click on Java download, and just click on here where it says agree and start free download. Just wait for that to finish. I'm going to open file. Just wait for that to load up. I'm going to click on install. And then we'll start downloading the installer and then it will start installing it. So let's wait for that to finish. And as you can see, it says you have successfully installed Java. So we can go ahead and close this down. Next thing we want to do is make sure that our game is actually up to date. So if we just go into the Minecraft launcher 
and as you can see I'm running the latest release which is version 1.17 1.17 and the next thing we're going to do is actually create a mods folder so I'm going to go into installations and I'm going to highlight where it says latest release and I'm going to click on this folder icon here and if you go into your Minecraft directory, you should have a folder which says mods. So let's say I'm going to delete this for now. And if you're installing Minecraft for the first time, you probably won't have that mods folder. So if you just right click, go to new folder and just name it mods. That's it. All right. So now we're actually going to go ahead and download fabric. All right. So now I'm going to go into my internet browser, start typing in Minecraft fabric download. And it's this link that we need to go to. So fabricmc.net, if you go to that one. And then if we click on here where it says download here, or you can click on this bit here, which says use on the top there in the menu. It took me a while to actually find out how to download this, but if you click on where it says use, and then if we click on where it says download installer universal jar, so go ahead and click on that. Wait for that to finish. As you can see, it's only 130 kilobytes. So so once that's finished, we will go ahead and actually download the Fabric API file as well. So if we click on this bit here, as you can see on the same page, it says most mods will require you to install Fabric API into the mods folder. So click on this bit here and it should open the link in the curseforge.com website. And then all we need to do is just click on files and download the latest version, which is this one here on the top. Just click on download and it should start downloading. And as you can see, fabricapi.jar is downloading as well. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start downloading the better F3 mod, which I showed you in the video. So I'm just going to type in Minecraft better F3 mod. And again, we're going to go to the curseforge.com link. I'm going to click on files. And the file I need to download is this one here in the top, which is the version 1.1.5 for Minecraft version 1.17, obviously. So let's go ahead and download this. And as you can see, it's uh, downloading this file. And that is downloaded now. So I'm going to go ahead and download Zero's minimap as well. So this one, I do know the web page. So if we just type in chocolate. Minecraft and it's this link here we need to go to so chocolateminecraft.com this is the author's main page so we can be sure that we are getting the latest version so as you can see I've got zeros minimap selected here and the version we need to download is this one which is 1.17 fabric so if we go ahead and click on one of these links to download I'm going to click on the mirror one because that's usually quicker let's wait for that to finish okay that's done Okay, so the next thing we need to download is the Roughly Enough Items mod. So if we just start typing in Minecraft, Roughly Enough Items, and then actually type in Fabric after that. So if we go to this link here, which is the curseforge.com link, but it's actually for the Fabric version. So if we click on Files, if we download this one, this is for Fabric version 1.17, click on Download. Wait for that to finish. And as you can see, it started downloading there. And that's done as well. Okay, so we do need an extra file for this to work for this uh, mod. And if we start typing in Minecraft. And then Architecture. And if we look for the Fabric version, as I said earlier. Let's go ahead and download this one. Right, and let's go ahead and download the Minecraft Falling Tree mod as well. Again, it's all in this website, curseforge.com. Let's come down here, click on files. And as you can see, this is the latest version. So let's go ahead and download this. All right, so that's finished downloading as well. And finally, we're gonna download the mod menu mod as well, which is gonna enable us to see all the mods that we've got installed 
in Fabric for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. So let's start typing in Minecraft Mod Menu Fabric. Again, we click on this link here for the curseforge.com link. Click on files and go ahead and download the latest version, which is this one here at this present time. So click on the download link and it should start downloading. And as you can see, I've now downloaded all of these files which we needed. And I'm going to go ahead and place them on my desktop. All right, so I've gone ahead and placed all of these files on my desktop. So I've got the fabric installer here, and then I've got the downloaded mods here, which we're going to place into our mods folder later on. So as you can see, I've got them all here. They're all jar files, as you can see. Let's close this down. And to install fabric, all we need to do is just right click on fabric and then click on open with, and then select this bit here, which says Java platform SE binary. And it should open up the installer. And as you can see, We've got the Minecraft version 1.17 here and the loader version and it should have your default installation directory for Minecraft. So just go ahead and click on install. And as you can see, it says Fabric Loader has been successfully installed and it says many mods also require that you put Fabric API into the mods folder, which we've already got. So let's close this down and now let's open up the launcher again. And immediately you should be able to see at the bottom left drop down here it's added fabric loader 1.17 to the list so you should have latest release latest snapshot and then it should also say fabric loader on there and if we click on installations it should also show it in there as well now if we click on this folder icon any one of these two links here hover over this folder icon here and then click on that and then again go to the mods folder and what I'm going to do now I'm going to drag all of the mods that I downloaded earlier and put them into the mods folder. Just going to drag them into there. And obviously do make sure that you've got the Fabric API file as well. That's very important because all of these will be relying on that file. And I've also got the mod menu jar file there as well. So let's close that down. Go back into the installer. Now you can either click on play over here for fabric loader or we could go into play and make sure it's selected in the bottom left drop down here and then click on play from here so let's go ahead and click on play and wait for that to load up obviously if you are running this for the first time it will say downloading There we go and as you can see at the bottom left here it says minecraft version 1.17 fabric and it's also got the mods button here which i can click and it tells me all of the mods i've got installed and they should all be enabled so click on done click on single player so we can actually go ahead and create a new world let's make it default survival normal difficulty create new world and it should load up all of these mods into the newly created survival world that you create So as you guys can see, I do have the minimap down the top left there. If I press the Y key on my keyboard, I can actually change the shape. So let's change it back to a square. And we can go ahead and make it bigger or smaller as well with this slider here, as you can see. Obviously, I've got the Roughly Enough Items mod installed as well. And if I press F3, I've got the better F3 mod there. As you can see, and if I press escape, click on mod, you can clearly see all the mods that are activated. So this is another way at the moment, guys, to be able to download and install mods for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. As I said earlier, the Forge application is not updated yet. So those of you who do like to use Forge, this is another good alternative that you can try and use as well. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. 
If you have, please do give it a like. And if you have any queries or comments, do leave them in the comment section below. Do let us know what's your favorite mod, what kind of mods do you like using. And just go to the curseforge.com website and you can actually go and filter it by fabric mods and download any of the mods that it has available on there. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.